Hey guys, this is a market video wrap up for today, the day before the jobs numbers comes out. So take this analysis with a grain of salt because a lot can change between now and the market open tomorrow. But what I'm seeing it continues to be bullish for the indexes. And let's just get right to the charts and then you be the judge if you are bullish or bearish. But it seems like there's a lot of unwarranted pessimism on the uh, on the stream on the Twitter and stock twit stream um, not really sure why when you when you see some of these charts but let's get to my timing signal what's it saying well on the 26th which is right here I started to get some mixed some very short-term mixed signals that could potentially turn into something more severe but it didn't happen and what I'm noticing with my timing signal is when the longer term aspect of, of that is in one is is one direction, which it's up and it's been up for a while now, that when you get these short term uh, mixed signals, warning signals, call them whatever you want, they've been buying opportunities. We're buying opportunity here in July. They were a buying opportunity in August. My my own personal watch list has remain bullish and so it led me to believe you know I sent out an alert to my free newsletter subscribers that it could be time to be cautious but I'm gonna to continue to hold my my longs because I for the reason that I just stated I, I I viewed as long as we stayed above this trend line which we have I view this as just consolidation you know from from the August run up and this is normal the um, this is a two-hour chart of the Dow six. Uh, well, this is a 120-minute chart. Uh, last eight months, I wasn't really seeing much when I was looking at the four-month, 60-minute. But when I kicked it out to you know the eight-month view, two-hour, e each candle is two hours. This just screams bullish. So, you know, cup with handle. Uh, it's broken out. It's kind of formed a second handle. The RSI action has been wonderful. You know, it's been channeling between 80 and 40. Uh, I also put a chart of the NASDAQ, not quite as strong, did dip down under the 30, and it's getting back here to uh, what could be resistance at 60. But of course, this, all, this is all going to be skewed with the, with, the, with the data coming out tomorrow. But when I look at these last two charts that I just showed you, there's no, absolutely no reason to be uh, shorting the market. If anything, maybe wait for a breakdown of, of that low there. Let me get back to the chart that I, you know, you, you maybe maybe wait for a breakdown of these lows because we're just a stone's throw away from new highs on the Dow. You know, when you look in the S and P, this is a very bullish channel. In fact, we could just as easily look back in a month or two and. You know the fact that this pullback didn't even make it down to the lower trend line. Same thing here. Uh, we could be looking back and being like, "Well, that was just a sign of underlying strength in the market." And the fact that it didn't go all the way down and even touch the trend line like it did down here. Uh, th this is just very bullish action. And the, the the spy again. It's really close. It could easily make new highs tomorrow. Uh, bonds. I still think bonds have topped. Nothing has really changed. Uh, there's there's negative divergence here. When this is a weekly chart, so you've got new highs here, not new highs on the RSI, and even another high here and another low here. I mean, it just continues to make lows. You know, one could say that this is building a base on top of this base, and maybe so, but. I see a series of lower highs here and until we at least at the very least get above this weekly candle I, I view the action on on bonds and, and I've been a bull bond for years now like years people thought the bond market had topped you know in 2009 to, I think even in like 2008 there people were saying it, it, it topped but and then the last chart real quick the dollar it could be it could find some support here and so, you know, I don't pay a lot of attention, but I know some of you guys do, and I have this chart saved. And so it, this looks, to me, looks like an area of support. Talk to you later.